Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 16. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the else if statement. Uh, so I hope you guys have watched the previous tutorial because I'm actually going to continue from where I left off in that video. And if you guys did watch that video, then uh, if you can remember correctly, I told you that I was going to make a program that checks whether the number I store in my variable is positive or negative. Okay, so I told you that we can check for a positive number by just checking if number is greater than zero. Okay, uh, because obviously any positive number is going to be greater than zero, then we'll just print out that the number is positive. But now we actually have a bit of a problem because what happens when I set number equal to zero? Okay, um, well zero isn't greater than zero so we're not getting this message printed out but we are getting a message that says that the number zero is negative and um, zero last time I checked is not negative uh, and neither is it positive, okay? Zero is uh, not positive or negative. It's, it's somewhere in the middle, you know? Uh, so I told you guys it would be really handy if we could check for an alternative condition uh, so we can check for if number is greater than zero and then we also need to check for if number is equal to zero, okay? And that is where the else if statement uh, is useful okay so I'm gonna go ahead and type in else if and in parentheses over here I can put in another condition okay so I need my curly braces as well and basically now what we're gonna do is check well obviously uh, zero is not greater than zero but we want to check obviously if zero is equal to zero or if number our variable number is equal to zero so i'm going to go ahead and just say number equals equals zero remember the double equal sign is to compare if two values are equal okay and then i'll go ahead and echo out a message so the number number is not positive or negative okay and uh, we should probably change those things to uh, number as well it makes a lot more sense as number than variable I don't know what I was thinking yesterday okay so now we can actually run this program and test it a few times because uh, right now we actually have the issue of zero being printed out as a negative number but let's go ahead and see if we just fix that okay so let's refresh and I made an error I didn't put in a semicolon gotta watch out for those okay so let's go back and click refresh and as you can see it says the number zero is not positive or negative okay so it seems to be working for zero now let's go ahead and make sure that it works for negative two okay so we should get this message printed out on the screen let's go back and see what happens the number negative two is negative okay awesome and uh, if we change this to five uh, then we can go ahead and click refresh and you can see that the number five is positive okay so the reason why all of that worked was because we were first checking for one condition so we we're saying okay if number is greater than zero we'll print out this then we used our else if statement which really came in handy uh, because now we could check for an alternative condition so when this one is false we can always check for another condition and uh, we can have as many else if statements as we want over here 
So I can then go ahead and check again for a different uh, condition if I wanted to, uh, if my program needed it to work. But unfortunately, I don't actually need another if sta else if statement. So uh, that's all we can do for now. So just remember that an else if statement is there to check for an alternative condition. Uh, so like I said, you can have as many as you want. So you can check for this condition. And if that's not true, then you can check for another condition. And if that's not true, you can check for another condition. And if that one's not true, then you can go ahead and just put in an else, which will just work for everything that wasn't one of your previous uh, conditions already. Okay. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.